have the Nite Institute of Architecture that we started uh, two and a half years ago. And uh, it's been a little different from the other schools of architecture that have been traditionally in existence. So as a prelude, we look through various curricula right across both within the country and across the world to see what would be most suitable and finally decided that we settle with regionalism something embedded within our own culture and society, something for our own climate, so that students who graduate from here would be able to adapt themselves to a professional environment that's uh, in, uh, akin to with, with uh, what's happening around in this part of the country, as well as, more importantly, tropical architecture. We're looking to develop a center of tropical, uh, as an excellence of tropical architecture across the globe, which means across the latitudes, across the uh, across the world. So one of the ways of doing this is using experiential learning and uh, that's how we've uh, embarked on working with the cooperative education system, a framework that allows the student to have both the uh, worldview of uh, experience both in the field, skill development as well as theories and concepts that they would get grounded on in the school itself. So we have a series of workshops and uh, other skill development uh, programs that are uh, wor that work in tandem with the course curriculum that help the student to understand this. Besides, we also work with uh, partners across industry and that helps our students to get, gain experience all across, across all the five years that they are here. Both we do that uh, predominantly during what we call as the summer term, that is during the months of uh, June and July at the end of the academic year and uh, besides that we have uh, semesters that are dedicated to it. For example, we have a six month period during the mid part of the program, somewhere around the third year in the sixth semester and another one that is there towards the ninth semester which is towards the end of the program before the students embark on their final thesis which is the culmination of the BR program. Uh, besides this, uh, they also students would embark on areas like the traveling studio which is very unique to how we organize a program and students have the opportunity, opportunity to work on an urban design and ecological studio uh, away from the school environment. So probably it, depending upon resources, it could be within a city, within, within the country or even outside. So this is unique to our program and we are very happy that things are going well. We are evolving as we go across and we have a good team good teamwork in terms of faculty and uh, very supportive management at the university and uh, with this we look forward to a lot of good tidings at the School of Architecture.